Ruth here, and this is my Crafter's Companion Craft Supplies Haul, number 33. And, uh, well, it's quite, quite a lot of stuff in here, and my desk is still preoccupied, so I'm doing this in bed. And I don't really have much space in bed, because I've got a bedside table, you know? Mm. Yeah. Anyway, it's not a bedside table, it's over the bed table. I'm not really sure what they're called. Anyway, that's totally besides the point. <laughs> so, um, we'll just do the first thing that you can see here. And that is the easy to organize 9x6 toolbox. And that was 17 pounds. I'm reading off the uh, packing slip on the side. Like, you can see it's got a handy zip. Durable vinyl. Label pocket, multifunctional, fits your coordinating tabbed divider pockets, and magnetic sheets. Um, that's the uh, dimensions of the inner tray. Um, Store your tools, stamps, and dies in style with this fantastic 9x6 toolbox. Strong, durable vinyl and zip keeps the, keep the objects inside and in a great condition. The included label pocket is perfect for organization too. The bag dimensions is up here. This is 7, I mean 9x6. So I, I guess that's more the inside, because obviously it's a 7.5 by 10 on the outside. Yeah. So it will fit 9 by 6 things, by def definitely, but it is slightly bigger. I mainly got this. That's what it looks like. The little bag and the vinyl, or no, plastic um, inside tray. Anyway, as I was saying, I mainly got this for my uh, tricolor aqua pens and the various tricolor, tri blend pens that I have because I did message and they said that they do fit in there. So recently I just bought a uh, Spectrum Raw carry case that fits 48. So I don't know if I'll need... Well, I'll probably use that to put the like overflow of pens. Perhaps? I don't know. I'm still thinking. No. <clears throat> anyway, that was a spoiler for what's to come in a long time. Because it's, it's not even... Yeah. Anyway, um, as you can probably see, this, I guess, was on, um, it's very interestingly drawn, Sara tote bag. This one, uh, this was somewhere in my basket, and it said, the uh, CC tote mystery. That was priced at $9.99, I got it for free. So, I'm not sure what I'd put in here, but anyway. Um, okay. Next up is this lovely collection of dies. There's 30 in 30 pieces in here, both dies and stamps. This is called Simple Pleasures. It's um, to make a Z-fold card by the looks of it. Yeah. 3D scene builder stamp and die set. There's a code if you want. Anyway, so I thought that was pretty good because I don't have any stamps or dies that are, you know, lamppost or grass bits or kid on a swing. 
I end the, uh, the gate. I don't have any gate related dyes, which could be useful. It's got a couple flower ones too. Anyway, so that's that. Um, I'm trying to read out how much it costs when I find this. I find it <laughs> on the, uh, my list here. Um, oh, it was on sale for six pounds seventeen. Most of the things I buy are on sale because <laughs> that means I can buy more things. Okay, so next up is the well, I'm staring at it upside down vintage textures clear acrylic stamp set, and that's from the uh, vintage rose. Collection. Found it. One pound forty-nine. It's nice. It's got like text here. It's got some flourishes, you know. And um, some other bits and some splatters, kind of thing. There's the, uh, the code there. If you're interested. Like, all that stuff. So that being pretty neat to have. Okay, next up, I guess I'll just do these ones. Those ones, I bought the rest of the additional, because like, they're like add-ons, because I bought the main um, reveal wheel stamp and die set a while ago for five pounds. These ones are all £1.49 each. So we've got the Absolute Star. You know, that's the, the main mechanism. It's got that, those sentiments on it. Then we have the Dreamy Cloud that has these sentiments. I thought I might as well, you know, since I wasn't going to originally get these, but I thought they were on sale for basically dirt cheap, like, so I thought I might as well, you know, to complete the collection. Because I kind of have that, you know, full set syndrome thing going on. That's the balloon. Oh yeah, this one was sweet delight if I didn't actually say. If I didn't say, did I? Um, this is the From the Heart. I really need to get to actually making them. Because <laughs> I haven't yet. And I think I spied one. And I briefly looked at this. Aha, here it is. The speech bubble. So all of those were one forty-nine a piece. Next up, I guess, um, since I have this list, it was six pounds ninety-eight on sale, I believe. Use this now. And I haven't actually used these before, so I thought that'd be interesting to try out. Here is the set of three glue pens. It's uh, three different nib size. Um, you know, a bullet nib, a chisel one, and a ballpoint. And it's the glue that uh, goes down blue, and when it dries, Tacky is when the blue goes transparent. So it's the same glue that's used for gilding flakes. So I thought that would be a nice addition because there's only, like, you know, the Gilding Flake kit thing, there's only two small kind of little bottles. 
they don't make bigger bottles of that. Um, okay, so next is... What is, where is that one? Oh, here it is. Three in one create card die celebration cake at £3.50. So it's a three in one, so you can do that, do that, or do it all together. That's pretty cool. I do love roses, and it's a cake. So it could be for like wedding or birthday, or a random celebration thing, or just do it like this, and like do a, uh, one of the Stampin' Dies from the Age of Arrogance. Go in here, you know, the one with the male and female in it, or whatever. I mean, that just came to me, so that's, that could be a good, a good idea. The next we have is the, the Hummingbird Collection. What is this called? F uh, fragrant Florals. So it's a stamp and die set, which is nice. Oop. Ooh, it comes with lovely flowers, some greenery, and a... I think that's a hibiscus. I think that's kind of like half the reason. Mainly, why I wanted this because I don't have that flower in my collection, and I like that flower a lot. Not as much as the rose, but I do like it for some odd reason. I mean, I don't think I've actually seen one in person, but I really like it for some odd reason. Is the code. And that one was. Um, three pound fifty one. Okay, the two ones that you can see here, or the three, is the uh, Water Lily Border die from the Dancing Dragonfly collection. It's two pound thirty nine. And the the whole uh, Nativity, the Holy Night collection Nativity die set. One pound forty nine, and the uh, Country Lane collection stamping die set, Hang Sign and Vines, was two ninety nine. I mean, I do have a the uh, die set that came with the uh, Inspiration magazine, but they don't. It wasn't. Them separated I'd have to cut them out and like bits of it was lost so I wanted to have them on their own you know so I can place them in other places there's that I mean I do have a sort of not in the same silhouette kind of uh, poses but I do have something similar from a uh, Spillbinder set, but it's a different pose as I said, so I wanted, you know. Anyway, Country Lane. I thought that'd be pretty cool, you know, because like the, uh, the signboards are blank, so you can write a message or something on there. Like as a top of a card or you know, on the side of the card, you do a, maybe a, a Z fold or something, or. Gateful? Or something like that. Or just normal, you know. I thought that was pretty cool. And what I said before is the watery border. I do like the list, they look nice. Anyway, so yeah, that's um, that. Next up, we have from the Nature's Garden Hummingbird Collection, 
we have spread your wings stamp set. Another very lovely sentiment, you know, wishing you happiness today and always. Let's spread your wings and fly. I'm here for you. Thank you for all you do. Follow your heart. It knows the way. You're wonderful in every way. Work your wishes just for you. And let your faith be bigger than your fears. Well, that's a very nice one. I like that one. But yes. So that's that one. So that one was. Um, what's it called? Um, one pound forty nine. Next up, as you can sort of see right there, is the Mediterranean Dreams Tricolor Aqua Markers. It's just called Mediterranean Dream. And that was two pounds for one, which was obviously cheaper because I'm platinum. But this one has three pieces with nine colors. Very nice, very nice. And the colors Citrus Fine, which has gold, amber, mary gold, clear skies. Aquamarine, Navy, Pinot Blue, and Bourguignonia, Magenta, Bourguignonia, and Moss. So I'm almost finished with my tricolor aqua marker collection. I'm very bad. I've got two left I haven't bought yet because they haven't been on sale. <laughs> they, at least of the ones that I know of, of the you know the little three pack sets. Because I'm, I'm pretty. I'm, I don't know if they have a tricolor aqua, like bigger set or not. But yeah. <laughs> okay. Next up, we have mesmerizing glitter paste mermaid's tail, and it was on sale for three pound ninety nine. Because I think they're like five ninety nine or something. These are super pretty. Look at that. I still see what I was seeing. It should be anyway. Um, this is the bottom. Look how pretty that is. Proper mermaid tail colors. That is, yeah. Okay, so that's that. And next up, we have two more things left, I think. Okay, what's in this box? I'll um, probably open separately because this is already almost 20 minutes long. So I'll open that separately. It is um, $29.98. was not on sale. Maybe the only thing in here that wasn't on sale. I think. Yeah, pretty sure. Anyway, for uh, $29.98. I said it already, I can't remember. Anyway, this is the AS3 Fabulous Companion Monthly Craft Club Aqua Techniques. So I'm looking forward to that because I also got that because this has the has three more tricolor aqua pens in colors that I don't think are in any of the three pack individual three-pack ones because it, it's got a gray, black, and something. And, uh, well, that was, I think, on one pen. The other pen, I'm not sure. Ah, my sister came in to give me the ice cream. Very nice of her. So lastly, there is a 100 gram faux snow. Oops. Anyway, um, oh, can you see in the background? That's my layout collection right there. And just right next to it is my Just to Say collection. This random thing I saw there through the screen here. Anyway, 
Here's the, the back of it. It was on sale. Of course. <laughs> For £4.99. I think it's like 10 to 12 pounds normally or something. I can't quite remember. But uh, use our first note to add instant dimension to your handmade festive cards and gifts. Perfect for shaker cards, shadow cards, and boxes, and much more. But for anything, that is it. But yes. I mean, I guess I could open this one and show you, right? Because, like, that's. You know. Probably should, right? Okay, I need to put this down for a sec. Okay, so. I'm gonna mess it up because I'm not gonna really open this in this video, but. As you can see, it comes in a plastic bag. These are the other three pens. And it comes with the uh, booklet. This is the only one I've bought of these craft club kits. Um, so I didn't get the binder, because I do have other binders I can probably shove it in. Um, so I could put it in the, in the back of my layout collection binder, because I got a little space in that one. Um, but yeah. Look forward to the video of this one, I guess. I still need to do the, uh... Um, well, if I haven't uploaded it before now... Then I still need to do the three Academy Color opening videos. I should have done it before now, hopefully. But you never know these days. But anyway, that's um, that's it, I believe. Lots of stuff in this video. Don't know if I'll actually have uh, enough space to put it all in one picture, but well, yeah. Um, anyway, I'm just rambling. So thank you for watching. Over